third, fourth, and fifth graders, and welcome to e-learning week number two for our Music Room e-learning lessons. It's so good to see you here. I miss you all very much and wish that we could be doing music together in the Music Room at Spring Mill, but sadly, this is what we're going to have to do instead. We're making the most with what we have. Remember, fifth graders, this is going to be an optional lesson for you once you complete your Canvas learning lesson. So remember this week we're going to be talking about your options for middle school music classes. That's for fifth graders. Fifth grade, once you complete that, feel free to join us in. Feel free to join in with us on this lesson. Third and fourth graders, it's going to be the same lesson for you except for third grade. Once we're going through our rhythm cards, there's going to be a point where I ask you to stop because fourth graders are going to continue on with some rhythms that you'll learn once you get to fourth grade. We do rhythm cards almost every week in the music room where we're clapping and practicing rhythms together. So when we do this today, I want you to make sure that you're participating with me. Don't just watch like you're on a TV show. Make sure that you're practicing and learning along together. So our, our lesson this week is going to be focused around rhythm. We do so much with rhythm in the music room. We compose with rhythm. We learn about rhythms all the time. So this week we're going to be doing a body percussion activity where we practice some rhythms together. But first we're going to do those rhythm cards that I previously mentioned. So I'm going to minimize myself so that I'm now down here in the bottom. Hello! If you'd like to follow along with me, you can. Remember, let's clap and say our Takadimi syllables together so that we're doing both of those at the same time. I will tell you when to start. Get ready, here we go. Those new 16th note rhythms that we had been learning before school stopped. Hopefully you got all those right. If not, go ahead and rewind this video so that you can do those again because I want you to make sure you're practicing all of those so that next year in fifth grade we can keep adding those new rhythms. All right, so now that we've reviewed the rhythms, we're going to be doing some body percussion. So we do a lot of body percussion in the music room kind of when we're learning a new song. We tend to pat the steady beat in different parts of our bodies. We do our head, we do our shoulders, we do our knees. I know you can't see my knees, but I promise they're right here below the camera. So we're going to be doing some body percussion. Again, I'm going to minimize myself so that you can see my screen, so you can see what I'm looking at here. There we go. All right, so on Canvas, I'm going to post this if you would like to go through it again after the video. Um, but it is going to be a composing activity that looks like this. Where did it go? Oh, here we go. All right, so it's going to look like this. I will post it on Canvas. So we are going to go into view mode. 
Maybe. There we go. All right, good. You can still see me. You can still see the screen. We're working through this together. All right, so we're in view mode now. Again, you can do this on your own later, or you can just watch it with this video. So I'm going to click next. All right, so it says, let's make music using body percussion. First, review the four different ways we will make percussion sounds with our bodies. Then we're going to perform them all together in a mixed pattern. All right, so we're going to do this on quarter notes. So think about that same steady beat we just had, but we're going to snap. Snap four times. Ready? Here we go. Snap, 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 snap. Fantastic. You guys are so great. Next, we've got a clap. Ready? Here we go. Clap, 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 clap. Let's see what's next. Next, we've got a pat. I'm going to bring my knee up so you can see me pat. Four pats. Ready? Here we go. Pat, 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 pat. Last one is going to be a stomp. You won't be able to see me stomp because you can't see my feet, but just stomp with me. Four stomps. Ready? Here we go. Stomp, 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 stomp. Great work. Those were super easy. All right. Now you see this table. You can see that we have numbers along the top, one, two, three, four for our columns and A, B, C, D for our rows. So each box is going to be like one quarter note. So we basically have four lines of four beats each. So we're going to read, remember in music, we always read just like we read a book from left to right. So we're going to start in box A1 and read across to A4. Then I want you to be thinking where we're going to go after A4. Yep, we're going to go down to B1, read across, then go down. Right now we've got the same per line, but it's going to get trickier, so pay attention. Ready? Steady beat, quarter notes each. Starting on A1, here we go. Clap, clap. Clap, clap, snap, 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 pat, 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 stomp, 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 stomp. Great work. You guys are too good. This is so easy. Let's make it a little harder. Now, watch closely. See if you can get them all right. Starting in the same spot, going in the same order. Try it with me, A1. Here we go. Clap, 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 pat, pat. Pat, stomp, snap, 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 pat, 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 stomp. Try it again a little faster. Here we go. Go clap, 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 pat, 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 stomp, snap, 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 pat, 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 stomp. Fantastic. Next one. Try it with me. Here we go. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, pat, pat, snap, snap, clap. Pat, pat, clap, clap, stomp, stomp. If you need to try that a little slower, go ahead and pause this video so you can see the screen and practice it again. Then come back and join us for the next one. We're going to keep moving on. All right, so next one, we've now got some quarter rests. We reviewed quarter rests in our rhythm cards earlier in this lesson, so we don't need to review them right now, but I do want you to remind yourself how many beats a quarter rest gets. I'll give you a hint. Remember how many beats each box gets, and a quarter rest takes up one box, so it's going to get one beat. Quarter rest gets one beat, no sound, so we're not going to make any sound for a rest. Starting in A1, try it. Here we go. Clap, clap, clap. Pat, pat, pat. Snap, snap, snap. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Fantabulous. All right, so now we're adding something different. So see how um, in this box, A3, I have two pictures of a clap. So whenever I have two pictures in one box, that's going to represent a pair of eighth notes. So they're going to be faster than a quarter note. Let's try this together. Whenever there are two things in one box, you're going to do it like it would be a pair of eighth notes. Starting in A1, just like we've been doing, clap it all together. Here we go. Clap, 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 clap. Pat, 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 snap, snap, stomp, 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 clap, pat, 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 snap, snap, stomp. Oh, that line, that last line was tricky. That D line was tricky, so let's try that one again. Last line, starting right here, here we go. Clap, clap, pat, pat, snap, snap, stomp. Fantastic. Oh, Miss Note went up and she meant to go down. 
we just did that one. We're going to go to slide. We're going to go to 13. 13 is going to be our last one. So you can see now I have some different quarter rests in different spots. So make sure you're watching out for that quarter rest. We also have those two eighth note rhythms now. Like this one, we've got a one down here. You can see there's several of them. We're going to take this one a little bit slower because it's going to be a little trickier, but we're still going to start on A1. Ready? One, two, A1, go. Clap, 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 pat, 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 snap, snap, clap, 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 stomp, stomp, pat, pat, snap. Great job, third and fourth graders. That was tricky, but make sure you're working hard with us. All right, so now we're going to talk about your um, your assignment for the week. So I'm, I've posted a separate video on your Canvas page with the tutorial about how to access this assignment and upload it. But I'll give you a brief um, run through here. So essentially what you're going to be doing is taking those body percussion different body percussion pieces that we just did. So the clap, the snap, the pat, and the stomp. And you're going to be turning those into your body percussion piece. You're going to get a chart like the one we just saw that had the different table with our letters down the side and our numbers along the top. You're going to be composing. Remember, composing is just a fancy word for writing that we use in the music world. And you're going to be composing four lines of four four beats each. So four lines, four beats across. I've posted this in Canvas. Again, like I already said, it's going to be a separate video. So all you have to do is click to the next page in your module and you will see the next video that is showing you how to access this assignment and upload it. If you have any questions at all, check out your um, music homepage in Canvas. That lists my office hours and all my contact information. So you can contact me anytime and I'd be happy to help you. I miss you all very much and I hope e-learning is going well. I hope you're enjoying these assignments. Make sure that you also did week one. We made a drum set out of things that we found around our house and I got so many awesome videos sent to me from you guys and pictures sent to me from parents of your guys' drum sets that you made at home. Have an awesome week. Make sure you be kind to one another and I'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.